Good evening, everybody. Oh. Check one, two. Oh, it's not. I know. I honestly am not going to complain because this is not as bad as Check one, two. Check one. All right. Hello, everybody. This is not so hot as I thought it was going to be. That's fantastic. We're going to just do a little number for you. It's not officially the concert yet. I want to, and this is a kind of our, our first rehearsal. We've been messing around with this in band too. We were learning the tune so quickly. I said, I'm going to give you another tune. And it's one of my favorites. And it's uh, Sir Duke by um, Stevie Wonder. And the last time we did this, uh, we did it for marching. And Stevie Wonder just happened that year to be doing a free concert uh, in Montreal. And that was the year that I did not get my enhanced driver's license in time. So I was not able to go to see that concert. But I had all kinds of students sending me texts. Just wish you were, you were here. But anyway, it turned a lot of people on to Stevie Wonder. And I think maybe I did it again. So um, this is just a rehearsal of this tune. We've never played it before. Um, but I hope you like it. So, uh, Sir Duke. Here Let me hear the drum sound. Oh, it's going to be a lot louder. Can, you, can somebody turn that volume? No, but if he beats the ground, then it's Wait, play it. A little bit more. Which? Well, you can make them give you the
Greg, did you want to say something about this? Yeah. Yeah. I will get the base part. Yes, we'll do that. Should we tell our parents? You guys, yes, go ahead. You guys can move off and then the dad's going to do that. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mr. Star Pontier. Uh, I'm the orchestra teacher here in the Maple Run School District, and uh, we're going to start the evening off with the spring after school group. This group of students, um, and, and some more that couldn't make it tonight, uh, came after school frequently to um, hang out and just play some music for fun. And uh, we just like to play one number we worked on um, and uh, kind of celebrate uh, Mackenzie here, who's a senior graduating this year. She's going to be featured heavily on this piece. It's uh, Viva La Vida. Um, enjoy. Thanks. And
No, so we'll, just, we'll just do the saxes here, and then we'll do the trumpets in that row. These two rows. Uh, flute can be... You start, start there, and then flute, and then sax. Make sense? What's that? Do you have another close one I can use? Sure do. Uh, Mr. Bush, you don't want me an Aria to stand? Uh, that would be great. Yes, good job. Thank you. Anybody have enough close pins? Anybody need them? Nice Evan, you need some close pins? I need a close pin, Bushy. What's the close pin? Here at the BFA Water Boys. The uh, dedicated crew keeping us hydrated. Thank you so much. <laughs> when that movie, The Water Boy, came out, having a last name, Bushy. It's awful close to Bobby Boucher and The Water Boy. <laughs> happy to pick on somebody else for a change about that. Um, welcome, everybody. Boy, it's really nice to see uh, real people at a concert um, and uh, not looking at a little tiny screen. You're not little screens. Um, this has been an incredibly uh, you know, different, different year to say the least. Um, very challenging, um, but rewarding at the same time. And uh, you know, I, I think I speak for so many people, so many teachers. I think for my colleagues when I say, you know, we're a little bit terrified about coming back in the fall. We didn't know what it was going to be like when we got back to school, and whether or not uh, COVID was just going to run wild through this building once we were all back inside again. And the students were like just so amazingly um, conscious of social distancing and wearing masks and our administration was so thoughtful about the way they rolled it out. Um, Dr. Durth, our superintendent's over here. Um, thank you. Um, and I'd like to congratulate him. He just has only a few days left as our superintendent before he retires. Congratulations. Thank you for your many years of service. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thanks so much. And um, I can't even imagine what it's like being a new, the new guy on the block during um, all the transitions that we had and then the pandemic and uh, uh, Mr. Brent Blanchard has done an amazing job um, over here and uh, has a great haircut too. Um, thank you for your support and um, just your leadership, it's been fantastic. But most of all, it just what made it worth it every day was coming and working with students. And just I think we realized during the shutdown in the spring just how much we missed our working with our kids. And the, this group is just such a special group of students and all of the students here at BFA. I'm, I'd like to give them a big round of applause, all of these students for the dedication and hard work. Yeah, we started jazz band, uh, this group here in, um, in person, uh, rhythm section, and then the horns on uh, Google Meet. And uh, we had, you know, everybody's kind of in their own little room and we're doing things and I'm playing a lick and I'm not hearing them play back, but I'm just imagining what it was like. And, uh, it, and it, was, it was actually really fun. Everybody, my feedback was, how was it? And they're like, yeah, it was better than I thought it was going to be. And I'm thinking, man, yeah, that's a pretty good compliment actually, right? And when we all could get together and play, that was a really special time. And so we were working on uh, four tunes here. The first one is a tune by Booker T and the MGs, um, which is just a kind of a famous backing band, um, although they had many hits. And this is one of them, Green Onions. So I hope you enjoy it. Oh, let's see. We're going we're gonna to feature Elio Hag Haig on guitar. We're going to feature um, Evan Desitels on tenor. We're going to feature Will Austin on piano on this one. Oh yeah, let's get in tune. Let's see, that's a good call. Yeah, I'm so out of, I'm so out of practice. All right, let's get in tune, everybody. Yeah, thank you. All right, there's a. Thanks for tuning out, everybody.
out a little bit and yeah, I'll take pictures. And are you good with standing too? Can you stand here on your own in the back row? Absolutely. Awesome. Great. And let's see, so who could first solo? It's tenor and then tenor. Okay, so you can have this. Wait, so it's me or you know, I mean, but you're the only one in this one. Um, I'm on. Yeah. And it's your turn to come in. Okay? Okay, everybody ready? Uh Our next tune is a tune called Free For All by Lenny Nihas. Uh, Lenny Nihas uh, just passed away, actually, um, uh, not, that many, not that long ago, only a couple months ago. Um, he was a very famous 
um, uh, composer and arranger for the Count Basie Orchestra. One of the things he did too, even uh, wrote the soundtrack for the movie Young Forgiven, which was a Clint Eastwood Western. I mean, he did, sort of did everything. Um, professional arrangements, movie scores, and school arrangements playable by uh, high school and uh, middle school groups. And this is one of those tunes, Free For All, uh, and it just gives us a chance to really play uh, some really cool horn lines that are accessible by uh, by the late, great Lenny Nihas. So I hope you enjoy. It's going to feature uh, Aria Garceau on clarinet, Nathaniel Cobb on saxophone, Evan Desitels on tenor saxophone, and Will Austin on piano, right? Will, you have a solo in this one too, right? Yes, okay. Those are all the solos, and we're going to do our best to pass this microphone along. Maybe you guys can help out with that, because I have my hands full up here with this bass, okay? Good. Who's the first solo? Aria, you are. Okay, hand that back to Aria. You guys can take that.
Our next tune is a Beatles tune. I think it's a really fitting tune. It's called Come Together. You got it? Yeah. It's going to feature Nick Farinaccio on Barry's saxophone, everybody. All right.
Boy, today's one of those days you just can't drink enough water, huh? <laughs> um, we have one more tune to play in jazz band. This is called Blue Note Blues by Jeff Jarvis. It's going to feature, again, Nick Farinaccio, Evan Desitel, and Will Austin.
You figured it out before the end, though, it sounds like. I figured it out as soon as I opened it. <laughs> Is that like an extra undrunk water right there? I believe oh, so. Oh, God, I think I'm going to take that. Mm -hmm. I just don't think they're drinking up water. Oh, let me get that. <laughs> you don't want all that music? Ridge Pirates, Mando, Avengers, right? Okay, good. Double check. See if you know. All right. Can I hear Dooney know when you guys are starting? Yeah. Good. Good. Everybody have close pins enough? Good. Okay. You got it. Okay. Okay, let's hear it tuning up, folks. This is like maybe the all time most that these students have ever been pulled out. Is that right? Would you say? You're all looking at this, right? How could this be? Um, so it, we're just going to take a minute because it's worth the time. We tune because we care. Makes everything sound better. So just, it's well worth our time here. Just give us a second, please. All right. Okay, let's get this going here. Uh, Andrew, can I hear yours? <laughs> can you pull out just a whisker? Let me hear yours, Nicholas. Okay, it's, it's really sharp. It's got to come way down. Can I hear yours? Hold on a little bit, it's okay. Let me play that, play the low one. Let me just play the low one. Actually, that was pretty good. Don't, can I hear you guys, that back row right there? The E4? Go ahead. Nick, one more time. Still, still sharp. Can I hear you? Just a little bit. Yeah, that's just a little tiny bit. Good. Yep. Pull out a bit still. Pull out a little bit. Pull out a bit. Be flat, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, this next tune is really fun tune. I'm a, I, uh, I play a lot of instruments, and lately I've been sort of obsessed with the banjo and like Appalachian old time banjo playing. And this tune is kind of based on that. It's called Blue Ridge Reel, and it's written like the style of an old fiddle tune, um, and very simple kind of a one chord kind of thing, but different textures. 
and a really fun piece to put together by a composer we've done a lot of music from in the past named Brian Balmages. Hope you enjoy it. a chance to shift around a little bit here. The next thing we're going to play is an arrangement of music from uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, really fun medley, a lot of different moods, great, great music. Um, our last concert of the year generally is not our first concert of the year, um, but <laughs> it's almost always a movie music theme, like a, sort of a pops concert in the, in the past. Um, and so we kept that this year, just doing some, some tunes that were really fun to put together. Um, so I hope you enjoy it.
work. I don't know about you, but one thing I think we all did um, more of recently was watch TV. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the things we did as a family was watch, the, we got Disney Plus so we could see uh, Hamilton, and then we just started watching everything else that was on it, um, including this show, The Mandalorian. How many of you have seen The Mandalorian? Many? All right, awesome. Okay, get some applause, good. Okay, so you'll recognize this next tune. It's the, the theme from the, that TV show. Um, really fun and very, very com much more complicated than it sounds. And, and that's a good thing because that means they're playing it well, but it's, it's a very challenging piece. I think the hardest thing to put it in front of them, they're like, oh, look at this key signature, five flats, and then it changes key, and like all kinds of kind of intricate stuff. Um, and they worked really, really hard at it, and I'm so happy with how it sounds. This is obviously when you came and heard us rehearsing the first time that they played together. Um, and especially for the incoming freshmen, I'm so proud of them, and I really hope they stick with it. I never would have, I mean, I was sort of on the cusp of quitting my eighth grade year. My grandmother started crying, and she quit the game for sticking with it. And look, at here I am, uh, 25 years later, <laughs> actually 28 years later, teaching music. Um, so you just never know where it'll take you. Um, yeah, thanks. Here's to grandma, guilt, guilt trip from grandma. Um, and uh, this, is, this is a sense of what BFA Music's all about here. This is normally our fourth big concert, and I was totaling it up, and people who are involved, this is like their 20th or 25th time performing during the course of a school year, a regular school year, which I think we're gonna have coming up. And so, um, you know, I really hope anybody who's not put Skip Band in their schedule for next year might take a, just reconsider and say, this is what it's like, this is what it's like in class, this is what it's like in performances. It's not like in this little cohort where you're like, oh my God, I'm all by myself in my part. Um, so it's just, it's worth keeping that in mind because some people have never had a real true BFA music experience. They have, they've not had a chance to uh, uh, see this. And uh, so, and I, boy, it warms my heart to be here doing this. This feels like normal to me, <laughs> you know? So uh, thank you so much. Um, I hope we've got two more selections. Mandalorian, I'll say just one more thing before the last number, but uh, thanks so much for your support and being out here tonight. Um, so here we go.
has kind of a trick ending. It's not every every piece of band music that says fade away at the end. It usually ends boom, it ends with a bang, you know, and people know when to clap. That's a weird one. Um, we we uh, put it right before the Avengers because it sort of, you feel like it blends right in the, the students. I gave them a choice and taught them how to program. Um, so we're going to do one final selection. I want to thank you all so much. Um, I would like to thank these students for their, their grit and their, their great attitude uh, all year long, all semester long. Um, jazz band as well. It's just I'm so proud of them and I uh, look forward to working with them. And seniors, you're going to be so incredibly missed. Um, next year, uh, thank you for, for really uh, sticking with us and, and your leadership um, throughout this year. Um, thanks, and thank you to uh, Dino over there on sound and my colleague Armand Messier and uh, the BFA administration and uh, all the folks that make this thing possible. So, a uh, big round of applause to all those folks. Thank you. And, one final note, it would be wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't believe that we can have the parents come in and help us bring stuff back to the band room, but the kids certainly can, and it would only take a minute if everybody makes one trip. Um, so just chill out and enjoy this cooling evening air while we just get all of this stuff back to the band room. Otherwise, I'll be here until like 10 o'clock going back and forth, back and forth. So um, thanks so much, and have a great night, everybody, and a great, safe summer. <laughs>
There's going to be a lot of people thinking of you when they find these in the woods. <laughs> 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 you can get the kids harder who are, you know, the most trouble. Oh, yeah, let's see. Where's the long, where's the long drive? There's I won't say. There's trumpet being in there. Okay. Yeah. Two, but we'll lose the first one. No, there's three. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's a great gift. You're going to be famous all throughout that golf course, in the ponds, in the rough, in the woods, in the deep woods, in the fairway, probably, who knows? Great. Okay, so everybody can help by getting some percussion gear back, right? That's big. The chair.